Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, this is a quick tutorial on how to create the overlay mat that I use on a lot of my sky shots. This is a really great little trick uh, that quite a few folks have been asking me about, so I thought I'd go ahead and do um, a, a kind of a how-to, how to build this, um, because it's very difficult to explain that in personal messages. But I hope you guys enjoy this, and uh, so let's get started. The first thing you do is uh, you're going to have to work in Photoshop for just a moment. So let's go to Photoshop. And the first thing you do is you build a new document. Under File, hit New. And then under the window here, you want to set this. I always build mine at 4K. This is uh, building it at UHD 4K. That's ultra high definition. Um, so that the pixel width is 3,840 pixels wide by 2160 pixels tall. Resolution only needs to be 72 dpi because this isn't something that's um, going to art that's going to be used for print or outdoor or anything like that. This is for video, so 72 dots per inch is plenty. The most important thing here is make sure that you choose a transparent background. Set that and then hit OK. That will bring up the document. And you can see that it's transparent because you can see the tiny little squares uh, instead of just a white background. Next thing you do is you go to your color palette and you select a blue that looks like a good, rich, deep kind of royal blue. So I pull over to about, you know, right in here. Don't want it to be too red. I'll leave this up for a moment if you guys want to look at these values in case you, can, you, know, you just want to punch those in. Uh, but then you've got your color, you hit OK. Then you go over and you select the graduated tool. What is this thing called? I don't even know the name of it. Graduating tool, yep. And then up here, to the top left, you want to click which mode you want it to do. And you want this one right here where you can see that it graduates from the color you've chose to nothing, to transparent. So we select that. All right, and we come over to our document and starting at the very top, you want to hold your shift key when you pull down. That way you'll make a perfectly straight uh, vertical line. So you hold the shift key and then click and drag down about halfway. Let go and boom. Now you've got the graduated tone. You want to save this tone and make sure you, you, you keep it as a, um, a, a, a PSD, a, a Photoshop document, because if you save it as a TIFF or a JPEG, it'll flatten. You won't have the transparency. And being a PSD file, it'll it'll maintain a little uh, a little bit better resolution than something uh, a web format file like a, a GIF or something like that or a PNG. Save it, keep it as a, a Photoshop document. Name it whatever you want to name it. Um, I've named mine Sky Graduation UHD 3840 Royal Blue. And so then you just hit save. Then you go to Premiere, and you open up your project window. You'll double click in here or from here, go to import, then import that graphic. It'll ask you a question if you want to flatten all the layers and you'll just select okay, but it'll maintain its transparency. So now I've got mine already placed in here, I'm kind of cheating a little bit, but so now you've got the, uh, the document in Premiere. Uh, we'll double click on it and see, there it is. You'll take that file and you'll take the file and you'll drop it on top of your footage, see like I have down here, graduated UHD 3840. And then after it's over top your footage, let me scroll to the after real quick on this. There's the after, that's with the graduation applied over top of the footage. This is an overlay, um, you can see before and after. You see how that makes your skies pop? This is a little tough to do because when you're doing color correction uh, and you're bringing up your, your midtones and your highlights for the footage, nine times out of ten you, you tend to blow out your skies, so you have to kind of sacrifice. You know, do I use do I do I lose my uh, my skies a little bit so I can get my trees and landscaping up, uh, or do I leave that dark so my skies don't get blown out? So this helps that. So with the graduated filter placed over top, I'm going to turn the layer back on. See how it saturates that? And the way it does that, the trick to this is with that selected, you go up to your effects controls and on the opacity of this layer, you don't want it to be set to normal. I'll put the 
There it is, 100% normal. See, that looks terrible. That, that looks like a, a bad overlay. You want to set it to overlay and take the opacity down a little bit because this that's a little harsh. This is starting to look like a, kind of an illustration or something. Take the opacity down a little bit and there you can see before and after it brings back those those wonderful little details in the clouds and the, and the blue sky. But since it's set to overlay, what it doesn't do is affect the highlight areas. It only affects things the more information is that's uh, in the pixel, like in the blue areas of the sky, or these cloudy areas here, um, the darker areas. It only affects those areas, so it doesn't leave it doesn't uh, dampen your highlights. So it's a great little tool to make your uh, make your skies pop a little bit better. The other important thing to keep in mind is you created this file. Remember how we did this? It was you know, graduating kind of down to the middle of the uh, of the document, about right in here. See, that's when it kind of goes to, to nothing, to zero, pure transparent. Um, you don't want this graduation bleeding over top of things like the trees. And let me show you what you've got to do to, to fix that, make sure that doesn't happen. If you select the graduated uh, mat, and then go over here to your motion and your effects controls, you want to uncheck the uniform scale, and then you want to scale the height. So if I select motion, look over here, you can see the, the, the boundaries of that graphic, and, and they've been squeezed. I'll pull it down. They've been squeezed, so they don't go from the top to the middle like the way we, we've created it. It's actually, um, oops, let me get that back again. It's actually um, been squeezed down, so it only affects the skies. And the reason you do that is, let me pull this down so you can see it. I'll widen it a little bit more. If you leave it like it is, uh, like you built it, uh, notice how it also it's it'll it'll affect uh, your trees, you know, and anything that's you know on the ground, a hillside or a mountain or anything like that. You'll get this darkening. Uh, of your treetops and you don't want that because again that that's a, a a quick clear indicator that oh somebody's you know using a, a, a mat uh, overlay and they're using it poorly you know it doesn't look good when you're darkening uh, your treetops so the way you get around that is with over here with your motion um, sc uniform scale unchecked you scale the height down so let me select that so you can see the boundaries you scale it down see how it's it's the width is staying and then you move it up to where your bluest part's right at the top of your, your frame, your image. And you make sure where it's ending, it doesn't end where it's cutting into trees. Because you can see it there. It's a little dark right there and a little dark here. So we scale that back a little bit more. Scale it down, rather. And that way we make the graduation, the graphic, uh, more shallow. So there, there you go. That way it's stopping. There's nothing going on by the time it comes down to here so it doesn't affect your trees. And you get this pure, clean graduation where you can't even tell it's seamless as it goes uh, from the overlaid blue to transparent. Real quick, I'm gonna run through um, some of the other ones where I've also applied this because there's a couple of tricks for this. And, you know, I should have mentioned this earlier. Keep in mind that, that the stuff that I show, I realize that, that this, most of this is way overdone, okay? It's, it's pushed way too far, but um, I, I'm always afraid that with YouTube compression, you won't be able to see the differences uh, that I do, so I tend to push them over the top a little bit, so I, I know for sure that when I make a change to something, you, know, you guys can look at it and go, oh yeah, I can see that, versus uh, I didn't see anything. Did he make a change? So um, I do push these a little bit over the top. So, uh, so when they're posted to YouTube, you can really see the difference. But rule of thumb is less is always more. You know, you just want you just want enough to to give a little life to your shot. You don't want it to start looking like a, you know a lot of these are, are borderline starting to look like almost an illustration. They're, they're, it's just too oversaturated. But um, I thought it's important just to say that because, like I said, I tend to push these a bit so it makes it easier to see the transitions. But anyway, here's the shot uh, with the same layer pla placed over top the sunset. I'm going to turn it off. So you can see how much this adds to it. This is a pretty, you know, a golden shot, uh, uh, obviously shot at sundown. But, but I kind of missed having the full spectrum of color in this, so I tried the overlay on that. And there we get lots of these nice blues back in there that kind of round out the uh, the color palette with all these golds and yellows and a little bit of greens over here and here. 
uh, and you get a little bit of blue. Now, the good thing about the graduation is that once you get it placed, you know, it may look a little bit too greenish or it may look a little too, too red as far as your blue goes. So what you do, instead of creating a whole new um, graduated um, overlay, what you do is you go down here to the left to your effects and you choose the fast color corrector, drag the, this up to that layer because it's selected here. Drag it up and drop it on this layer. I'm gonna open this up and you'll notice that I have now tinted the overlay itself much more blue than it is when I first bring it in. So if I back this off like this, look at the image now. See how yellow it still is? And now watch the image as I pull it back into blue. You see it really saturates more blue up in there. So you're not stuck with the blue that you have. You can, you know, if it's not exactly to your liking, a little too green, a little too red, you can always drop a fast color corrector on it. And, uh, and change that hue of that color a little bit. And on, on this image, if I select mine, these are a little, looking a little bit uh, purple. And you can see that's because I've pulled the color, placing a fast color corrector on this graduated layer. I've pulled the color way over here to the pink. So I'm gonna back it off. I'm gonna go the other way. And you can see now, see the image, how it's kind of got a yellowish tint to it, to the blues in, in, up top. But you'll notice, that the real color of these is right in here. There's some pink in there, so it makes sense to naturally push this toward the pink so it doesn't appear like you've done any kind of major matte or masking. That's kind of a rule of thumb is if you can look at something and tell right away, ah, it's a matte on top of that, you've failed. You know, people just, um, they need to look at stuff and just appreciate it and think it looks beautiful and, and pretty, and then you succeeded when they can't tell that you've done anything, uh, anything like that to it. And here we are on another shot. Um, again, th this guy wasn't too bad, but I didn't want to want to push it too much more because I was afraid of losing my uh, the little details. It's you know, it's getting pretty bright in here, so I didn't want to lose too much of the details. So I placed that graduated filter over top, or graduated matte, sorry, the overlay before and then after. So you can see before and after. So you see how it really brings out those little details uh, and doesn't sacrifice the whole shot having to color correct uh, or, or bring the brightness down just to accommodate the skies. So anyway, I hope this helps. If you have any questions, please post and I'll try to answer them the best I can. And please subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a good day.